the scheduled 12 round fight. Average punches per round so far, Pavlik 29 out of 74, Taylor 29 out of 59. Harold Letterman, how do you have it on the scorecard? Four rounds to two, 57, 56, Kelly Pavlik. Jim, I tell you, I think that as aggressive this is winning the fight. I mean, you know, moving forward, landing those good, straight, hard right hands. Jermaine Taylor, beautiful job of boxing to win round five. He gets an extra point in round two for the knockdown. The fight is very, very close in points. Four rounds to two, Kelly Pavlik. I have it three rounds apiece, which means a one-point lead for Taylor. That's a good body shot by Taylor. Or excuse me, by Pavlik with the right hand. Both fighters trying to employ the jab here in round seven. Middle portions of the fight, much more a boxing match than the first three rounds, which were a wild, all-out slugfest. And contrary to expectations, we're seeing Pavlik winning the jabbing contest. Longer. Steps forward. shot with the left hand by Pavlik. Good one-two upstairs by Taylor, immediately following. Another right hand by Pavlik. Pavlik said he didn't think that Taylor liked to get hit. Nobody likes to get hit, but Taylor has taken those hits. Taylor said that he didn't think Kelly Pavlik is much. And that right hand hurt is... Taylor. Taylor is done. Left hook. Drops Taylor's head up. Up and down. And Taylor is in trouble. Down goes the right. And we Steve have a is going to stop the fight. Oh. That is correct. There's a brand new middleweight champion. He's from Youngstown, Ohio. What a muscle, assault. Muscle memory strikes again. Unbelievable. I don't know where that shot came from, but it definitely hurt uh, Jermaine Taylor. What a performance by young Pavlik. What guts to get off the floor. The difference in this fight, one man got off the floor, the other man didn't. You could see it coming about 10 seconds in advance when the right hand drove Taylor into the ropes and suddenly he was a sitting duck and Pavlik instantly realized it, Lennox. That was the instinct of a finisher. I was, I was really surprised that... Uh, and and, and this, is, this is the punch that hurt him. Pavlik has been throwing that jab. Taylor hasn't been blocking it. But here's the right that hurt him, and he's hurt from that punch. He backs up in the corner. He's still... And here's another angle, the same punch. Taylor's eyes are closed. He didn't even see that punch coming. All he's seen it was at the last moment when it connected. And here's the end, where the referee start, steps in. It was a left uppercut. That hurt him, it buckled him a little bit. Then a right uppercut that put him on the chin. And the finish, referee steps in, realizes that Taylor's hurt, and stops the fight. A perfect finishing assault by Kelly Pavlik. This is clinical damage inside, Lennox. Both hands. And, and it looks like the uppercuts were really apparent. That's the one that really was the shocker and came from nowhere. Jermaine didn't even see it, but he reacted from it and uh, whether or not he could have got up or not is the question because the referee was right there on top of him, but he made no attempt to get up. Kelly Pavlik showing the true heart of a champion. Well, Michael Buffer said at the beginning somebody's O had to go. It was Taylor's O who went. By way of Caesars Atlantic City, tonight here in Atlantic City, we have witnessed one of the great middleweight championship bouts in boxing history. Referee Steve Smoger steps in, calls a halt, 
at two minutes, 14 seconds, round number seven. The winner by TKO victory and new undefeated middleweight champion of the world, Kelly, the ghost. Very few picked him to beat Edison Miranda earlier this summer. He put Miranda away in seven. Jermaine Taylor was an eight to five favorite tonight. He put Taylor away in seven. Kelly Pavlik has put an imprint on the middleweight division that will not soon be forgotten, and Jermaine Taylor has already left the ring. Kelly Pavlik came off the floor and came back. When, when that happens, when, when you put a guy down and he comes back and you hit him with everything, and all of a sudden he comes back and he's still coming and throwing punches, that's got to do something mentally for you. And, and what it did for Jermaine was like he had to say to himself, this guy's still coming, he's still here. Final copy box numbers. Taylor and Pavlik landing an almost identical number of punches. Taylor landing at a higher accuracy rate. Pavlik showing the will, as he insisted he would, to throw more punches as the fight went on. Power shots. Jabs first. Taylor landing 77 of 207. Pavlik 80 out of 250. They were both dedicated to using the jab. Pavlik's jab was stiffer and longer and controlled more space. And most importantly, as the rounds went on, Pavlik's jab began to set up his power shots until he landed a barrage in the seventh round that closed the show, ultimately landing 100 out of 210 power shots against Taylor, who had a sensational statistical night, landing 65% of his power shots. And incidentally, Larry Merchant, if you're listening, the judges had it 58-55, 59-54, and 58-55, all for Jermaine Taylor. So Pavlik was down 3-3 and 4 points on the scorecards when he knocked Taylor.